Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Real Madrid career mode. In the previous episode, we started off with a lot, a lot of games and a lot of things happening. But the first game, we started with a very comfortable 3-0 win to kick off the episode with McKenny and Vinny being the highlight players. I believe there was two penalties in that game. So quite boring goals in general, just a penalty, but a result is a result and we will take it. Getting to the second game now, though, as like I said, we've got a lot to cover. We did get the 1-0 win against Lysa, who we will be facing again at the start of this episode. But in the first leg, Mbappe shines once again and scores and gets us the advantage in the 1-0 away win. But then we did get into quite a difficult game against RC the Mallorca here. They went 1-0 up, but then we did bring it back to be a 2-1 win with Rodrigo scoring in the 90th minute. A late minute winner. We love to see always steps up to the plate. And then we got into something a bit different. We normally do like the highlight games and the faux noise, but we went into a full simulation this time with just randomly jumping in if anything spicy was about to happen. And my God, it was indeed. We got the 6-1 win against UD Alamera in a simulation game right there. Just absolutely domination. I mean, that's one of our pretty, that's, well, I'd say that's probably our biggest away win so far this season. So very nice from Real Madrid and the team right there. But that's where it went all down here. We played our arch rivals in Boston. The last time we played them, we beat them 3 0. So we was hoping to do the double for them, but they got the revenge with Ferran Torres, probably scoring one of the best goals I've seen from an AI or the opponent AI team this FIFA, with them winning 1 0 over us and also ruining our undefeated streak, which is very annoying. Very annoying indeed, but we are still top of the table as well. So getting to this episode here today now, like I said, we have got Leipzig again in the round 16. So let's get into the pre match conference, then into the lineups, and then to the highlights to see if we can get to the next round in the Champions League. Come on. So here we go then, question time. Press conference with Big Barry. Let's, uh, let's be having here. I've also got something interesting to say about the Copa Espana tournament as well, but I'll get to that when it comes. A bit of a wild twist in the story in that one right there. But we'll focus on today though. Are you almost through already? We want to win again. We need to. I mean, just a 1 0, you know, Agra is, is okay, but we need one or two more to get that balance and get that cushion. So we can probably play a bit of a weaker side, but today I don't think I will. We need to secure ourselves. The Champions League is the home of Real Madrid. This is what it means the most. How we approach this game, we'll focus on our performance 100%. Got to look at individuals to shine again. You've got Mbappe just growing up massively, just being the highlight of the show. That's why we brought him in for that record signing. So hopefully he can carry the team again. The team's been absolutely fine. They how to set you to play, trying to level up performance. Can you keep this great run going? I think there's more to come. I think there is. I think, you know, obviously we had a bit of a slipper against Barcelona. So hopefully confidence isn't too low. We just need to build that back up. And hit him hard. Okay, guys, again. we're out of time. Thanks but there is the question there. Sorry if you couldn't Let's get, get into the lineups in. against RB Leipzig. Come on. So, let's go. This is the last day against RB Leipzig at the Stanio Bernabeu today in the second leg. Pretty much exactly the same team, but the only change is Drew Benham goes off for McKenney. He's just very tired. He's ridiculously tired, and I don't want to risk that when we have got McKenney on the bench as well. So, let's just play him instead. Of Embellum right there. But looking at all these Leipzig team, they've got a bit of a stronger team out today as well. Alvarez goes back up top. Rafael Leal, they decided to start finally. Absolute baller. Why he's on the bench, I won't mind actually bringing him in uh, maybe very soon. If we do decide to do a second season of this Real Madrid team, we'll go somewhere else. You never know what the future holds with Big Barry. Lyman there in DM, Mobia as well. Uh, McCormick, Savage, well for Fan and Dika. They've got a very good team. We're very familiarized with it from the first leg. Let's see if we can do the double and get through. Come on. So here we go then, Champions League football has returned, but this time it is at the Bernabeu against Harvey Lowe. So they haven't got Slozlebaugh in this uh, team anymore, if I say for his name, Slozlebaugh, I think that's all the camera for um, RB Lowe. I'm not too sure he raised in this career mode, but I do know that he's gone to Liverpool in real life very recently. What a sign that is for 70 million on the Maybe a little bit too much money, but he's a big, big, talented player. Could be a massive sign for him, but he isn't in this career mode today in Leipzig. Let's go. One advantage is for us. Come on. So here we go then. Kelly Mbappe playing it back to partner crime Vinicius Jr. So Camavinga and now we begin the highlights. We lost it. We got a chance straight away in the fifth minute. So let's go. I mean, we got pretty much a three on one here. We got Mbappe running up here. Got Mbappe. He's not going to use Rodrigo. He's going to go potentially on his own here. We can see Vinny on the other side. And oh, that, I must admit, I must admit, ladies and gentlemen, I bowled it. I bowled it. 
I don't know what I was thinking there. I ran way too quick for Mbappe, but it doesn't matter because we might be getting a chance again. And this is why it will go to Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. could run through here. That's all right, cuts in there. So nothing's really opening up. Now there's a gap to Mbappe. Mbappe with the shot to get the deflection. And Gulitski has to make the save there. As that first chance in the fifth minute gonna bite me in the ass. I should have scored from that, but I just sprinted too much. I tried to be a bit of a rat and swear to Vinny. The backfired. Junior is on the ball now. Lays it in to Asmobia. I think he's a former Barcelona man as well, correct me if I'm wrong. Junior res the uh quadruple redder, really. Oh done indeed. I mean we're in the World Cup of the Treble with Argentina and Man City. I mean what season he had. Unbelievable. 40 minutes in now though, folks on the game again. Here we go here, two as many. We could have played it to Mbappe. Vinicius is trying to make the run over the top. I can see it's a great ball to Vinny. Vinny's through here. Vinicius Jr. on the half volley. Number seven, the new number seven in town with a fantastic finish indeed. We're not going to get to analyze the goal because it's going to go right back into the action. What a ball from Chuis Mini and what a little half volley as well. Kind of collective composure from Vinny. Slots it away to make it 1 0 and 2 0 on the aggregate. Rafa Mia hit, holds it back to Lima. Lima on the ball can get a challenge if we can. Big Vinny with a challenge there. Now it's a two on one situation in the 57th minute here. Leipzig need to get a goal back to get anything out of this Champions League run. They've got but Canati is at the back here. He does get beaten actually. I thought we had it covered. Canati going for the sweat of the own. And Courtois catches it. Well done indeed. Both teams cannot score a trap goal, it seems today. Absolute shocker. We can't do the basics. Absolute big shockers around. Rodrigo on the front post got loads of great men. Messi's just going to win that there, Rodrigo, well done. Unexpected hero, Doku looks like he's just came onto the pitch as a substitution for potentially Vinny or Rodrigo. They look completely the same, to be honest with you. Does he get a good chance here? Doku lings up to the field. He actually, no, he, he's, he must have come in the centre mid row, which is very strange indeed. But regardless of that, we have won 1-0 again, but this time our home ground, which means we do qualify to the next round and RB Leipzig are on a plane back to Germany. I mean, fair play to them, but like I said, if they're not going to score goals and take their chances, it's just uh, you're not going to go your way, is it? But there you go, Vinicius Jr., two attempts, one goal today. Pretty little finish from him. The only goal in this game goes to the Brazilian, the number seven in Vinny Jr. Good team display, but nothing too special. We'll take it. 1-0, 2-0 on aggregate against Leipzig. We continue on. So, let's show it looks like the second game of this episode will once again be a highlight game against Alesco Bilabao. I checked them on the league table. They're about 12th to 13th position. So nothing too crazy in terms of comparison of a rivalry right here. So that's why I probably will dodge the pre-match conference. Different if it was Atletico Madrid, but this one is Bilabao. So I feel like this should be another comfortable win. This is a good chance for us to bounce back from that loss against Barcelona, especially in the league. So let's get into the lineups. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the last today at the St. Man's Arena against Atletico Bilabao away here. As you can see, a lot of changes. A bit of a weaker side today with Van de Ven. Perosa hit the uh, Arsenal, Arsenal man there, sorry, yeah. But we signed him for that in the left back row. He also, like I said, Van de Ven goes back in the team. Gnato comes back from injury, so we want to get that minus two to more like a plus two or a plus three or four, which would be very nice indeed. And also the new sign in Doku goes in as well over Rodrigo with Mbappe and Rodrigo getting dropped. So, like I said, just making a bit of a weaker side here. We want to get some of these new fresh faces to the plus size in Ganato and Perosa. Just getting a bit more game time and also grow Van de Ven as he is approaching the EAE mark mark right there. We're also looking at our Let's Go Bilabao's team here. I mean, I can recognize a couple of players, but one in particular in Adeyemi up top. Very, very dangerous player indeed. One to definitely watch over for and close out. So let's see how we get on the highlights here. But with a bit of a weaker side today, let's go. Come on. So here we go then at the Stadio San Men's. And it looks like some opera singing is in the background. If anyone can hear that. Fair enough. Very uh very intriguing indeed. What a way to walk out there. Very nice. I love it. I love it. But I think we'll get the result today. I'm pretty confident. Let's go. So really all eyes on the highlights of Ganasso today. Oh my gosh, shout out me. I mean he just keeps bloody singing, doesn't he? I'm trying to construct the game and he's a bloody put on a a musical show, what's going on here? 17 minutes in now though, and Pedrosa let's say he's got a free kick. Quite far out here, we're going to try and go for a backing swinger right here. We're going to go for a bit of power on this one, lads. Scoring into the mixer, he's going up there. Two better than Subbay, went for the audacious there, but nothing really out of it. 18 minutes in there, but like we're saying though, I mean, with the highlights, I'm looking at Ganato really, to see if he can pick up from where he left us when he got injured, unfortunately. 
Let's open Vinicius Jr. and new number seven. Can they swing to the box here? Let's just go into G. Oh, not G. Ben, I'm sorry. I was going to say that is the wrong number right there. Let's say got a chance here with Doku. Let's bit of play here. Dumfries on the ball. Let's say play that, but they have to draw back a foul there. And it looks like it will be a yellow card for Sudamana. Fair enough. Okay, so we get to continue on with this, which is ideal. Uh, I'm actually looking at Jude Ben on that back post. I'm going to try something here, lads. It may not work, but I'm going to try fizz it right across the... F oh, I actually hold on a beat. I mean, to be fair, it kind of, kind of works, but maybe not. <laughs> that did not work at all. I messed, I'm really messed up there. I hope that they all beat by my mistake. But regardless of that, we've got a chance here with Jude Ben. We've also got a chance inside the box here. We're getting to fit into Vinny. Vinny on the finesse of Vinny Jr. He's on fire this episode. It's a brilliant finesse shot inside the box there. And it fizzes in to the right side of the goal. Good little assist there from Jude Bennett, but do not take it away there from Vinny. I mean, that was all him, wasn't it? Let's be honest. But we go again here. And Leslie got another chance. And Leslie Doku could be through here. Can he get his second goal of the Real Madrid season? And he can. I thought the queue would commit. And he didn't. Doku cannot find his second goal in the Real Madrid colours here today. But let's say they've got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity here. And it looks like it could be Dumfries up for the chance. And Dumfries does really well. A chance here, corner kick for Atletico Club in the 59th minute here now. Very, very intriguing indeed. Here we go here, there. Cool to oh, good catch indeed, well done. And now it looks like we've got another chance, the last chance of the game potentially, 89th minute. Can we get another go and break this one goal curse that we always bloody get on highlight games? Here comes McKenney here. McKenney running through. I'm looking at Vinicius. Can we get over him time? That's a good boy. Might be onside. Vinicius doing his day job move from the first game. It's the same angle. Joking. Not another one? The same foot and the same side of the goal. It is literally copied and pasted from the last game to this game. Vinicius Jr. picks up the brace. They're easy the man of the match. Good ball from McKenney. Or LeBron James in the midfield. Well done indeed. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A lovely 2 0 win in the league centre there against Atletico Bilagao. Bilagao, sorry, Bilagao, who the hell is Bilagao? In regards to that, Vinic Jr, brace. A brace for him today, once again, just showing his world class. Once again, two attempts, I believe, and two goals. Really has stepped up to the plate with that overall. I mean, he's just, he's world class. He's the same, pretty much the same overall as Mbappe, let's be honest, the same. Oh, it's just unbelievable, but who knew? To Real Madrid, a great performance against Athletic School for the Bow Away. We continue on, come on. So, let's join the next game of this episode. The third game of this episode is against Genoa, and once again, it's just a weaker side. Looking at the table, though, unbelievable from us indeed. But looking at the opponents we have got here today, if I could just quickly find where is Genoa? There you go, relegation battle. But I'm going to do this a little bit different because, as we saw in the previous episode, we did get the 6-1 win away when we played a highlight game. Well, like a simulation game. So what we're going to do here, ladies and gentlemen, is get into the lineups and go for it again. Because if it means we get more goals and get the goal difference even more higher, then why the hell not? Let's just spice it up again. So let's go. Let's get into the lineups against the new away and see if we can do it again on the simulation. Let's go. So let's jump. This is the lineup today against Genoa away. As you can see, a bit more of a weaker side, but still a lot of strength in the team. With Rodrigo getting dropped again, but this kind of good Nasso goes back in the ring. As we saw, the minus is gone now, and now it's got to the plus side, which is very nice. But there goes in right back here with Dumfries once again, just retaining the team. Same with Canati going in, and Van de Ven going in over our boy Edda Militao. Just retaining the centre backs around here just to keep everyone satisfied. Same with Kenny over Camavinga and Perosa in the left back row. I mean, looking at their team, only recognised one, and that's that's Juani up top in the or S position right there, but regards to that, haven't got a bloody clue by the rest of the team. You can see why they're probably in the relegation bout. So without further ado, let's get into the simulation right here and let's see how they get on. It's just gonna load in now. Here we have it. Let's go. Let's see what happens. So Genoa on the ball here, running through on goal. Five minutes in. It's a good point to the box and cool toss. Seems like he has to save the chance and Genoa starts off the game well. And they're still gonna get the ball here. Now we finally get possession back. That's it, Tiki Taka through the middle. Let's say it's going to Mbappe, and it's 1 0 just like that. Kieran Mbappe in the 12th minute makes it 1 0. Well done to the boys. Let's say Genoa's got a good chance here. They're going through and caught off another good save 
both are having a very good game so far. Let's have a look at. Oh, one shot attacking there. I'll tell you what, could get a chance for against that. And the Bappy's. Oh, no, isn't a Bappy. Vinicius Jr. has actually sent everyone through. We've just seen that on the thing. Now we're going to get into the game here. Vinicius Jr., can we make it 2 0? And we can. This is definitely his episode here today. I mean, just looking at that simulation there. I mean, it looked like he weaved between three or four players. It's unbelievable. So we just jumped into the game here. And we just put it away for him for a brilliant solo goal. We jumped back out. Come on. So that's what I was trying to find there before Vinicius went onto the game. We wanted to look at the match range. As you can see, I mean, Quartar's had not a bad game with the 6.3 in goal. I mean, that's quite rare. In regards to that, now we've got possession back here again with Vinny in and back. We're just running the show as per usual. As they'll play here, number 24 running through. It's a good shot from number 17, and it goes out for a corner kick. Goes into Vinicius. Still Vinicius. Nice little play this, a shot of goal. And you know what? I'm definitely struggling now. I mean, 2 0 down. This is not where they want to see. They start off really well. They've got another potential chance here with Jude Benham on the ball. We're going to jump into this and see if we can get something going here, ladies and gentlemen. And we kind of have still got it. Well done. Good chance here. We could get a ball over the top, and we couldn't get it, unfortunately. So we're going through here. Let's take Vinicius through again. And it's three goals for Real Madrid. We just jumped out. After losing possession, and just as I did, we won it back and we got another goal. Approaching half time now, and this is like I said, it's deja vu. Every time we do the simulation, we're just battering teams. So many goals, we're just going to resume straight away here. Last time we played a simulation again, we won 6 1 away, so maybe we're on to something here, but that would be a bit boring just watching this. It's just now and then, just to spice things up again. But here we go again, and look, look at that for a triangle play, and again. 4 0 killing Mbappe. A lovely little triangle there with Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe and G. Bellingham. The three superstars of the world just really get into the game here. And now it's gone really quiet, the audio was for some reason. But you know, yeah, we're back here in course what again with another one on one save. Well done indeed. You can look at Genoa's team here. I mean, formation 5 3 2, slow build up possession. That's all right, but you're just going to give the midfield so much room if you're just going to sit back, man. And if you're going to do with these type of players, we saw it with the Tiki Taka in the fourth go. It's just going to be a pain in the ass for them to defend. And it will by them in the ass. A good ball over the top, though, but Courtois there to collect it with number 14, pass the battle right there. Not a bad clear and so, but it's a good run if number 14 throw in right here. We're going to look into team management here just really quickly, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to do is bring Doku on for Ganasso and Kamavinga on for Jude Bellum because I want to rest Kamavinga, uh, Jude Bellum, sorry. Potential big games. So, nothing's really happening so far now. We could be getting the fifth goal, but you know it might get a bit of redemption and get another goal back for themselves, for the home fans. Most bit of play, there's Mbappe running through, it seems. Most bit of play again. Can we get something going again here? Most bit of play. Just holding it in the corner, it seems. Lizard got a bit of a chance here. McKenney, we'll jump in here. I'm looking at Chewis Mini on the edge of the box. Choose many got a bit of room in the edge of the box. It choose many. We try to go for the power shot. And I tell you what, we will as well just stay to the rest of the game now, ladies and because it's only three minutes remaining. Good. Well done from there from Canate. Canate played to Van der Ven into G. Bellum here now. Nice bit of play. Lovely bit of play this from Real Madrid. Uh, choose many. Really, really poor touch there. And it ends just like that. We went through the simulation majority of the game, but the last three or four minutes, we decided to play them to see if we could snatch that fifth away go right there but it doesn't happen but regards to that you cannot argue with a 4-0 win away for the boys in white lovely little play i mean we saw with the highlight game but it was paid attention more in depth a lot of tiki taka with that man there vinicius jr just absolutely steamrolling this episode today just pretty much scoring in every game we play he is on the score sheet so well done to Vinny. well done to Mbappe. well done to jude the whole team and courtois the same than one-on-one saves but it ends 4-0 with Mbappe and Jude on the braces against Genoa away. We continue on. So ladies and gentlemen, to wrap up this episode here today, we're going to go in for a full 19-minute game against Valencia at home. Here, The reason behind it, as you can see, it is first versus fourth. And, you know, I mean, we just want to keep it even safer from the fourth position up to the first spot. So that is why we won the likes of Barcelona, Madrid, Valencia, even Seville to just drop points so that's why i think it's a bit of a big game here and i feel like there could be a little bit of a rivalry here but we are going to dodge the pre-match conference though even though i did say there's a little bit of a rivalry i feel like a little way i feel there's a lot of rivalry anyway with all the spanish clubs they're all very uh feisty 
individuals indeed but we're just going to dodge this one here today because it's not massive it's not Atletico Madrid or Barcelona worthy is it so let's get into the lineups here today and see if we can end the episode on a full 90 minute game with a W come on so let's show this is the lineups today against Valencia at the Bernabeu today for the full 90 just going to go with the strongest team possible well, I mean we haven't really played the strongest team with the highest rate players for the Torre of this episode today so why the hell not do it against a top five team in Valencia C uh, looking at their team though Pepe I think he scored against us last time Reveille is a very good player as well Cod, uh, Godfrey at the back Pellegrini Giro and Mamre Darash Valley I think I say pronounce his name in go I think it's actually linked with my Argo career mode if you haven't looked for that go check that out on my channel as well it's a very intriguing one as well looking at the teams though I mean we all know mine's gonna be potentially the favorites here but you never know you never know so let's go let's go for it come on so here we go then match day 30 getting to near the end of the season now this one season challenge with Real Madrid is nearly to an end and to be fair it's on there are a lot of trophies could be on to the end of the season but we just gotta keep the consistency and no fall offs like we did against Barcelona with this team we shouldn't do with that attack there with especially in Vinny and in Mbappe it's scary we should be okay come on so here we go then getting Mbappe kicks off the game of course we are in the famous all white kit against Valencia's away kit which is like a black and golden stripes and socks colour right there so not too shabby indeed Rodrigo on the ball here now number 11 a bit quiet this episode but you know he is a late minute winner player for us but to be fair we're good for the right way here it's a good post with the back post comes and oh, just trying to fizz it Try to fizz it right across the box, but he does go near post instead. But a good, good play there from our forward side. And Dumbledore's in cancer. It just misses wide as actually. And then, the, oh God, I'm trying to go into someone talking there. But massive mistake at the back there. But look at them. They're all over the gaff. Look at them. They can't keep composure at all. I can't get my bloody words out at the moment because I had to say something. And then the defence just absolutely has an absolute shocker. Dumfries on the ball though, cuts it back but quite slow on the turn. It doesn't matter, it is obsession still. Look at Camavinga here, we're going to get Camavinga short this time. Good ball there, and so it goes to Jude. Jude Ben, a bit of space outside the box, and Jude Ben! There's a good save from Mara Fazali. I'm going to definitely butcher that name a lot through this game here today, the keeper. Going to go inside the box here again though, I feel like this is a good opportunity to get it, there's no one marking him. Inside the box here, let's take Rodrigo on the ball, Rodrigo on the finesse! And the keeper again pulls off the save, we're going to go for it again here, I mean why the hell not, there's so much room on the edge of this box, it's a no-brainer. Good chance on the edge of the box here. The pass back to Vinny. And on the ball, going to go for the Trevea shot there, no, oh, it's hit the bar. That would have been an unbelievable goal from Vinicius Junior, just hitting the Trevea shot. Outside the beat, you see it here. It was so close, a lovely bit of dip, and it just comes off the bar. So unlucky from Vinny. So, a nearly a worldie from Real Madrid from Vinicius Junior, but it just goes away. Unlucky, but we're looking like to so dominant. Hugo wins the header there against Canate of all people, which is a, a mismatch, but fair play. We could be through here, he's gone right through, but Eddie Natal always there to cover us. Our anchor at the back does really well. Number 32 on the corner here in Nicolas Pepe. So you're going to swing a ball in here, so good ball to the box, but we get out with Chewis Mini. I must say they got on the edge of the box here though, luckily he didn't shoot because I definitely would have, but it's going to be too slow, and he has gone for the shot. Rivera's got the second chance here, and Courtois has to pull off the double save, the back-to-back -back saves. Well done indeed, we're going to get a good chance potentially here, oh, it's not a good touch here, we're just going to pull it back out to the other side of the pitch here. Dumfries is going to try and run down the wing, Kamavinga's on his own in the middle, Kamavinga's found a bit of space! He went for the header. I did hold the uh, the volley button on this game, but for some reason he went for the diving header. And what? Look at that angle. That was shocking. So a massively wasted chance there. I can understand the whistles from the Real Madrid fans because I think I'll be a bit complaining and uh, angry as well if a player decided to header it. And with that accuracy as well, that was very poor. Rodrigo looking for him back to make the good run there, but we just couldn't get off in time. Unlucky, just gets intercepted very comfortably from the Valencia defence. Get that out here, one well from Dumbridge. Just a little ding there, that's absolutely fine. It'll go back into Rangers' hands. All right, I don't know why they pulled the back there for the foul. I mean, it was going to be our ball regardless, so a bit strange. Too as many plays out wide there to 
can Cancelo. Can Cancelo do something now? Cuts inside. Goes to Mbappe. Mbappe into Tris Mene. Goes into Jude. Jude Benham. Another bit of play here. Into Mbappe. Good turn there from Mbappe. Mbappe finds Dumfries on the wing. Can we get onto the back post there? And Pellegrini with a good block there. Pushing the four minutes now. Can get in the wall. Uh, big chance, really. We've got the best chance with Vanini on that back post. Got a good camera Vingo on this one here. Swing it into the box here. Let's just go into the box. Oh, we couldn't get it though. Mbappe though, head down there. Rodrigo potentially on the power shot there. It's a good save again from the keeper. We just cannot get this goal in. We cannot get it. I'm going to go first side the box again. I'm really feeling it in this game here today. I feel like this is the one to maybe get. We're going to get another chance here. And it's hit the bar again, but it's the opposite side. You teasing me. With the opposite wing as well. First Vinny and now Rodrigo. A beautiful finesse shot. And it hits the bar once again. What do we have to do to get this ball in the back of the net? So 43 minutes now, and I don't understand how it's still 1-0. Camavinga's chance, Vinny and Rodrigo's chance. Should be about 3 or 4 nil in the first half, but it just hasn't meant to be. They get one last chance here. Vinicius Jr. does get caught and lose the possession. So it looks like it could be the last chance, unless Valencia are going to go free, but it looks like Canate are going to do that. Same with Gortois. Good kick from Gortois, though. We've got to stop it there on the halfway line. The ref has blown it for half time. And like I said, I just don't understand how it's not 2-3 or even 4-0. But the chances are coming. They are coming. One will eventually go in in regards to it's short, a header or long range. I think we'll get the goal. But nil at the break. I'll let you know for any changes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the second half has begun and they decided to make no changes. I mean, you've seen it yourselves. We're just getting a bit unlucky. I think he'll naturally come, keep composed within myself and the players I'm playing with. And I think we'll be all right. There's no need to make any rash decisions and substitutions. Happy, good turn there. Really good turn. Could get something going here. It's a good touch inside. Rodrigo, the top attack, did come again. Uh, maybe we should right it inside. Do you bend a bit of space outside the box there? We'll go for the top right corner again. But maybe I should have ran inside with the player on the ball originally. I think it was Vinny. We can't get a lock on here, which is really annoying. We finally did, but I just kind of bowled it there. I didn't expect to maybe get through so easily, so that's why I played it back at wide just before a minute ago there. Good little touch there from Pepe to Fuquela. Fuquela plays it inside. It's a good play here. It's a good shot. Goal in Courtois. Probably Valencia's best chance of the game, and it has to be forced out for a corner. Into the box here. Can we get it out? That's not the man to bring it out. Bad clearance. Bad touch indeed, and it's just gone past from Hugo Duro. Very scrappy in the box there. Could have been a very silly goal to get away from Real Madrid but we survived it we're going to take this short here I mean don't know how we didn't concede that there to be honest as well I mean that was just outrageous I mean how is this game just naturally nil nil still with both teams now Juban running through let's see Benny's get a gap we're going to play it back out wide it's the best option there Cancelo can he get an early ball in there it's going into oh, and he went for the Liberia Rodrigo and it goes over unlucky McKenney comes on for Chewis Many It's a good substitution. That with fresh legs in that midfield is definitely what we need. I think we just need to go a bit more direct through the middle. We're going too out wide too much. And I think that's what's biting me in the ass. So we're going to try and go a bit more through the middle, I feel like now. It's a good touch from Hugo Duro. Been a bit of a threat, but Kanat is there to collect it. Really good sign since he's coming in, to be fair. Better from Dumfries. Absolutely tank the, uh, the Dutch one. Yeah. Kamavinga can find out wide. Can do. Mbappe. Mbappe running. Try to back through all of them. It does. Oh, can he get it? All right, he kind of does survive it with Rodrigo. Cancelo's almost those now. Can't dodge that at all. So there's a lot of room here. Yeah, not the best pass there, though. It's all right. Still alive. Good turn from Vinny. Oh. For God's sakes. I went to do for the fake shot and did that. What's going on here? Even I'm playing a bit poorly, I must admit. <laughs> Come on, boys. We can do this. Don't want any draws. Up we go here. Good. Jesus Christ. Rodrigo's really good in the air. Absolutely flattening him on his ass. Here we go. Come on. Good chance going here. Rodrigo make the run. He's kind of bottled the run. Here we go. Can't get it. Go on the ball. Well done from Tower. Look at that, look. The Brazilian. Well done. Bellingham, shocking from Bellingham. 81 minutes in now, they're still nil nil. I don't know how. Second half been quite poor from both sides, to be fair. Cancelo, good inception though. Can we get something going now? Vinicius Jr. running through. Still Vinny. Trying to get past one. Well, that's a foul there, referee. Thank you very much. 
And we're going to get a chance here. We're going to get no call for Vinicius Jr. It's been brilliant whole episode. But we're going to get someone else indeed. Let's have a look here. Who's got some good free kicks? That's like Will Drew's got the best. It isn't really what we wanted, is it? I'm going to play it short here. Go for a little power shot with G. Bellum! And it's just gone over the bar. Oh. Need more accuracy there, man. It's got so much room. It's just... It's just all power, man. All power. We're a player like Drew Bellum. We've seen it in the Dortmund and Real Madrid room. But his actually inside the box is normally way better. But that was... Uh, that was questionable. How we going up? Come on. Ultra attack now. Mbappe, make the run, my man. Help me out, Mbappe. Good ball with the battle there. Tear it down, perhaps. Goes in the new sign in. Don't get the shot off. Oh, he's left it really late. Oh, for God's sake. The touch is there. It's just absolutely backfired. We're going to get another chance, potentially. Good touch there. Mbappe. Little bird with a gaff to Mbappe. It's still alive. And killing Mbappe. Oh, we couldn't get over. And it ends nil-nil. That's the first game, I feel like, where not even my team scoring in Real Madrid, even the opponent team. How the hell is this game ending nil-nil? I don't know. I should have gone. I should have stuck with my original plan. Like I said I was going to do, but I really didn't. It's gone more direct through the middle. We did near the end, but... I'm a bit annoyed about that Drew Bellum shot. I think he should have definitely been there. No one closed him. Maybe too much power was generated, but... Nil nil. I mean, how the hell has that been nil nil? But that is going to help our Barcelona to catch up massively. Frustrating result. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we are going to wrap up the episode here. We have got one inbox actually. Let's have a look at that. The England Master job. Not going to do that, unfortunately. We're going to dodge down because we're just going to focus on the Real Madrid crew. I mean, not a bad episode today. Also, we saw with the simulation game a very comfortable win there. And also, Vinicius Jr. just going unbelievable back to back volleys in the first and second game but then it did get a little bit annoying right at the end we just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net against valencia and it ends nil nil which is very frustrating indeed but let's look at the next episode though we are going against leverkusen in the first leg in the quarterfinals away at the buy arena so very intriguing indeed once again barry going against a familiarized german team in leverkusen so hopefully he will play that into his advantage with regards to that ladies and gentlemen if you did like this video Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.